Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. I come in here for church service this week, Greenleaf. Y'all know how we do it, Visions yeah. and Dreams, episode three of season four. For you all that come back every week, welcome. We got the ushers down the aisle. They're going to provide you with a fan and a tithe and offering envelope because yeah. we need that money around here. The secretary, Quanisha, she's going to be down in the comments. She's going to recap everything. She's going to uh -huh. set everything straight. We got uh -huh. a couple of head deacons in charge down there as well. So we're just going to have us a good old time with this recap. So coming off of what we was at last week. Gigi ended up flying on out there to Phoenix, Arizona, y'all. Mm -hmm. And she ended up at the Desert Hope Work Release Center. Gigi gets there late, but the guy at the front desk did allow her to see AJ. Now, right off the bat, I know that this is probably a program that is run out of donation. Yeah. People just get their coins together and they help provide this um, service to the community to, re to help rehabilitate folk and get them back into the workforce and back into society. But what we're not going to do, we're not going to play like you couldn't have went down to the family dollar and got you a real touch tone phone. <laughs> when that guy went to call AJ down to see Gigi, he put his finger in the hole and did like this. The rotary phone. I say, if y'all don't go somewhere with Boy, that, that moose shit yeah. right there, uh -huh. and can y'all please paint the walls and it's just too dark. That's why people's spirits be all dark. That's y'all that go to the churches with that paneling on that wall. Yeah, wood paneling. <laughs> That's why the spirit can't move up in there. It's too got doing dark. Man, I used to hate them rotary phones back then. You better not mess up the number. You got to start, start all, all over again. Y'all hang it up <laughs> and then pull off the hook and start all over again. <laughs> and and then if you had one of the ones that went around slow, you know, back uh -huh. then, sometimes you would get the ones that would go fast, yep. but you would get that yep. one that go. <laughs> like you bastard. <laughs> it takes you about five minutes to make a phone call. Man, when that touch tone came out, you couldn't tell me. Nothing. Skip. Yep. And, and then I had a see through one. Yeah, and we did too. <laughs> and when it rang, you could see it go. Yep. Did y'all have one of those? <laughs> Don't even play. I know y'all did with $10. Ooh, yep. Family dollar. Yeah, exactly. Yep. So, AJ ends up coming down the steps. He's not expecting Gigi, right? He comes down and he immediately knows who she is. And he is hot. Mm -hmm. He was like, what are you doing here? I just wanted you to send the money. If you're not here to deliver a check, then I don't need to see you here. I was like, ooh, Gigi, you got your work cut out for you. Yeah, and rightfully so. Uh -huh. So then, of course, you see Gigi starts to get in her feelings and you can see the emotions. And he said, ho, ho, ho. What I'm not going to do, I'm not going to be your science project. I'm not going to be here for you can get your feels so that yeah. you can feel better. No. I want you to go. I said, whoa. Yep. And he marches his tail right on back upstairs and got him a hot in the cot. I said, okay. He tells the guard, um, well, I don't know if it was a guard or sister, whatever he is. Don't let her back no. in here. I said, Okay. Well, in true Gigi fashion, and she did exactly what she should do. Should have did. Uh-huh. She showed up the next day. Yep. But he was out. So when he came in to check back in, she's sitting there. Yep. He was like, basically, did you, not... You took still it, here? Did not took and told you that I didn't go. to see you. I need you to go. I said, whoo. I said, this, I can tell right now that this is going to get me all in my feelings. <laughs> and it didn't disappoint because I told Stella, I was like, I feel like I'm going to bust out and cry at any moment. Mm -hmm. So, Gigi begs and pleads with him, just let me explain. explain. Just yeah. hear me out. And then I'll get on a plane and I'll do whatever. But please let me explain. So, she explains her, you know, her piece to him. And he asked her an important question. Do you regret giving me up? And she was like, what do you mean? He said, the first time, do you regret having me? Do you regret the decision that you made? And mm -hmm. she was like, I don't know. No, no. I said, thank you for being honest. honest and sometimes yeah. people will tell you what you, you want to hear. Yeah, what you yeah. want to hear, what mm -hmm. they think you want to hear. And he had to sit in that and realize that she, she didn't know what she was doing. And yep. she still doesn't know if that was a good choice or not. And then he was, and then she told me, she said, I did not know when you called me the second time, well, the first time, 
whether or not I didn't know how to incorporate you into my life. I had Sophia, mm -hmm. you know, I had this. She was really honest with honest him. With and I him, said, yeah. Okay, so at that time, while they're sitting there having this conversation and you can tell that he's starting to open up to her a little bit more and whatnot, there's a fight that breaks out in the center. And Gigi is looking like this is not a safe place for him to be. Yeah. And she was like, I got to get you a place. We got to go looking for apartments. We got to do something. I said, okay, but I have a few questions, y'all. And I know we're probably going to get to this later on in the season. Where did AJ come from? Like, did he age out of the system mm -hmm. and he just went out on his own and he was, you know, he hit the streets? Was he ever adopted? And does he have a drug problem? Because yeah. his movements are like this. We are fidgety. And I'm like, okay, what, what are we dealing with here? We don't know what we're dealing with. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Gigi and him end up going to this really nice apartment. It was nice and quaint. Real nice. And he was like, you know, it has a pool. And, and he's getting excited. You can tell that, you know, he, he's excited, but he doesn't want he's to get... He's scared. Yeah. yeah, he's scared to be by himself. And, and she was like, what's wrong? And he was like, you know, I've always imagined him being by myself and, you know, where it's quiet. And he was like, kind of sucks at the same mm -hmm. time. Like, you know what you want, but at the same time, the realization that you are alone sets in and she's asking him do you like the apartment he said well what do you like it's your money she's like i don't have I'm to stay here. here yeah you have to stay here mm -hmm. at that time the agent that was representing the seller or the renter or whatever the owner came in and was like you know the owner would usually go for a co-signer but at this particular time because he is and you know where the conversation was going he ended up just walking out walking on the out. terrace he was mm -hmm. like he already knew how it was going to go. And Gigi was like, no, no, no. Let me speak to the owner. The lady was like, oh, it's, it's, he's not getting the place. I'm sorry. Your son is not going to get the it's place. It's sad, though. It is. It's sad that we live in a world where no you, can't, yeah, you can't make a mistake. And the ones that are pushing this stuff make mistakes every day. Yeah. And this boy trying to get his life together, get himself straight. He can't even get a place to live. To lay his What y'all expect for him to do? Do exactly what got him in trouble the first time. And that's why people end up go, coming in the system and right back into the system because of the way society is set up. You can't get a good job. Mm. Obviously, you can't get a place. You probably can't get a vehicle because your credit ain't going to be right because you ain't got no credit history. So it's like if they find out you got a record, man, you just, you pretty much done. Yeah. Unless you go live in the projects. And yeah. then that puts you in more trouble because mm -hmm. now you're going to be a product of your environment. Yep. It sucks. So Gigi gets him out on the terrace and she was like, look, I'm not flying back until I get you a place. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to go and we're going to look for more places tomorrow. And he was like, it's going to be the same thing that it was today. And that she was like, we just going to have keep, to keep, keep trying. trying. And I said, okay, Gigi, you uh, going you in the right on. direction yeah. with now him. You, now you proving that you did yeah. for him and not for yourself. And, she, and he kept saying, he said, and then they eventually went back to the center and they're still having this conversation and he looks at her and he says I'm not who you think I am I'm not what you think I am and she says so what do you think I think you are mm. he says I broke into a house because I was hungry I got mm -hmm. locked up for five years because I fell asleep and she said huh he said, I broke into a place. I knew that the family was on vacation. I wanted to find something that I could hawk so that I could find something, you know, so I can buy me something to eat. But the house was vacant. It was cool. It was safe. Mm -hmm. And it was quiet. And I fell asleep. And that's how I got caught. And I did five years for falling asleep. Let me tell you, I don't know if it's because I'm on my menstrual or what the hell is going on. But I was uh -huh. in tears. It's crazy. I was like, God, darn it. And, and I know they did that to you because that's real. It's so Not real. everybody steal to fight and fat in their pockets to get a better life. Some people steal just to do everyday necessities, just to be able to eat and have somewhere to stay. And it's and it's and it's sad. It's so sad, man. You remember when um I have a cousin that stays in and out of trouble all the time, like everybody does. Mm -hmm. And he has children. And he had a whole lot of money. Every time he got a job, he pretty much was working to make himself feel good because he wasn't getting a check. 
the yeah. system was just taking all this money out of his paycheck. Mm -hmm. And one day, God had laid it on Stella's spirit to bless him with some money. Mm -hmm. And he came back and told Stella later on, he was like, you don't even know what that did for me. Mm -hmm. He was like, because that day I had made up in my mind that I had to go back out there and sell drugs. Yep. He was like, because I can't make it. I can't work. Yeah. Because I owe so much to my children, mm -hmm. the system comes in and takes that. I can't make legal money. I can't yep. take care of myself. Yep. He said, so the only thing that I know how to do is it's, to do it under the table. Yeah, it's become a hustler. I said, dang. Yeah, so you got a whole lot of cats out there that don't want to be a hustler. No. And unfortunately, you know, it's not an excuse, but unfortunately, they have to kind of do what they got to do in order to take care of themselves, and especially if they got kids. And it's like... What I'm going to do, and, you know, especially, you know, these normal jobs now, if you ain't got a quote-unquote college degree, you got to start at the bottom and work your way up, and, you know, minimum wage, it just ain't going to do it. Ain't cutting it. I mean, you got apartments out there starting it with, but, like, $700, $800 now. And that's you know, some hood. Yeah. So, starting that price, you looking at, you making $10 an hour, you, you done. Yeah. That's only about, what, about three, four $400 a week? And they ain't including groceries, insurance, card, uh, Car payment, all the stuff you gotta have, lunch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it sucks, man. Yeah, I, I was all in my feathers, y'all. I was like, God yeah. darn it. Whew. All right, so we're gonna come back to that situation right there because remember, yeah. she told him, I'm not gonna leave here until I get you a place mm -hmm. that is safe, cool, and quiet. Yeah, I was like, I yeah. said, Gigi. It's a big promise. That's a big promise because yeah. we don't know how this is gonna go, but we saw how it went. Okay, so Lady May meets Bishop, and um, she well, they in the house, and she ends up sharing a dream with him that she had. She was like, "I had a dream that we were in a museum, <laughs> and we ended up standing in front of this um this painting of Jesus, and it was ripped in the middle, and there was a person standing off to the side of the picture." And they had a blade in their hand, and blood was dripping from the blade, and it was you. Bishop said, me? Me? me. <laughs> you sure it was me? <laughs> and she said, you need to apologize to the church. You need to apologize. He basically said in so many words, you keep your dreams to yourself, and until God give me that same dream again, you, I apologize for skin. <laughs> so said, like Reuben told Joseph, keep your dreams to yourself. I said, well, Bishop, <laughs> you told her how you felt. Yep. But here's the thing that got me with Lady May. Ever since Bishop has had to step down, and she thinks that she is the next coming of Calvary, she treat him like he ain't skit. Mm -hmm. Like everything is his fault. And I'm like, you was an accomplice. Yeah, y'all was working together. Y'all was, you doing was first the same lady. Level. Yeah, he was past the bishop and you were first lady. So, yeah. And you benefited from every scheme, yep. every dollar stolen. Exactly. Every piece of tax money he didn't pay. Yep. You benefited from all. all now, of all of a sudden, you holier than thou, okay? Yep. All right, so, Carissa. Y'all know last week she wanted to sell that land and she ended up giving the listing to that um, realtor. It wasn't really for sale, but it was more of a see what the buzz is if you put this out here. See mm -hmm. if anybody bites and see what they talking about. Well, somebody wants to buy it. They want to buy it as, um, what is it, a commercial, commercial. realtor? Mm -hmm. Want to buy it. Don't Scans. know what they're going to do to it. <laughs> Don't know what they want to do with it. Da -da -da -da. Of course, Jacob ain't for none of that. Yeah. And um, <laughs> Jacob ended up telling his daddy about it. Was like, you know what? Carissa wants to get out of this house. She She's found this dream home. But the only way to get it is to sell this land so that we can go over here. Bishop said, have you even seen the house? He was like, no. He was, was like, like, nope. But at the end of the day, if it's going to make her happy. Or make her be quiet. Make give her me be some quiet. peace. <laughs> Then I'll do it. Bishop said, hey, let me go ahead and put it to you like this, young bud. She ain't thinking about that house. It's not the house that she's after. She's about wanting to have a home with you. Mm -hmm. You forgot that you just came off of that Keisha Cole Skanks thing. Yep. She got all that going on with her. Love her a little bit more. But in my humble opinion as your father and the bishop, don't you sell that land because that's yeah. how the rich stay rich. You said that's the closest thing that you have to faith. I said, and you ain't never lying. Yeah, when you own some real estate, man, you got, yeah. Because that's the only asset that appreciates, well, not the only one, mm. but it's an asset that appreciates in value. And God ain't making no more of it. Exactly. So, of course, 
he did what his daddy said do. Stella always turns my yeah, pages. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and that ain't go over well with Carissa. She enjoyed the flowers. She enjoyed the more loving. But that uh, not selling the land, she ain't here for nothing. Ever. So we're going to see what that's going to end up being later on in the by and by. Um, we have a Hustle Headquarters anthem that sang early Sunday before worship service. And Carlton has had it up to here yeah. when hearing that God doing song. And he don't call charity in. And he was like, somebody got to help me <laughs> rationalize this with Miss Judy. Because we going to lose it at this black church. Yeah. It is every Sunday. Yes. And I agree. I couldn't do it. No. Nah, I've been like, you know what? I love y'all, um, Calvary. But I'm out. Deuces. Yeah. Because y'all have me want to commit suicide every Sunday. Listen to that. <laughs> I'm like, uh, uh. So, um, Carlton is telling um, Charity because he can see it in her eyes that she about to do something. She talking about something. She going to email Judy, give her a piece of her mind, and they not going to do that around here. Carlton said, first of all, Gigi already told me, do not approach anybody without going through her. You let her be the liaison between us and them. But, you know, in pure Charity fashion... Uh-huh. Why did she email that lady? Now, what she was <laughs> repeating out loud was real nasty. So, I'm quite sure that's what she put in the email to Miss Judy. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Later on, Phil had got a little phone call about that little email that she decided that she was going to send over there to Miss Judy. Phil let her know that first freaking all, this is something that's done at Hustle Headquarters, all of our churches. It's what we do. Everybody know it. Every Sunday, live. Live through it. Just get over yourself. This is not Calvary no more. This is H&H. &H, okay? And second, I'm freaking all, Judy is Bob's daughter. Hmm. So basically, that it's song a, ain't going It's away. a no-go. Yeah. And he said, you know what? He said, why are you going right here doing all these little temper I'm going to need you to grow up. I said, ooh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so here she go. So... You wouldn't happen to want to know that um, Grace is in Arizona. He's like, huh? What? Oh, so are you a little sorry for how you just treated me? He ain't say sorry. He said thank you, you. Thank you for that information and walked on out. So with that information, I didn't realize that Bob was in Arizona as well. Mm -hmm. So he's immediately thinking that she don't flew down to Arizona to do something with Bob Under or to hand. have a mm -hmm. meeting with Bob. Probably behind his back. So he's calling around to everybody but Bob. Trying to figure out, have you seen Grace Green? Uh, yeah. And <laughs> ain't nobody seen Grace. So he's real puzzled. Or he's wondering if everybody lying to him as well. <laughs> I said, okay, Phil. You in? I'm going to say you in. <laughs> so then we see a scene with Miss Misty Williams. Miss Misty Williams ends up coming to Calvary. And she's all frazzled. I mean, she's all out of sorts. And she's looking for Gigi. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, Gigi don't flew to Arizona. She ain't there. So, Corinne was like, you know, do you need me to call her? You know, do you have a meeting with her? She's like, no, I don't have a meeting with her. Then Phil swoops in. Mm -hmm. And he was like, you know what? I'll go ahead and take care of it. And swooped her off into his office. So, Corinne called Lady May. And told Lady May, listen. Phil got Misty in his office. But she came here looking for Gigi. And she ain't here. I don't know where she's at. Okay. So Lady May knew that she had to swoop in and figure out what the hell's going on. <laughs> because, you know, she's next in line for the church and whatnot. Yeah. So she gets her best St. John knit on. And she's heading out the door. Bishop was like, what the hell you think you are? <laughs> and he said, well, I want to come with. She was like. He said, ain't going to take me but a minute. She said, that's what he always say. Yeah. 15 minutes later, come out, look like Billy D. Williams. Or stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so they end up going over Misty's house. And Misty was like, you know, no, no, your services are really not needed. I mean, she real nice, nasty with them. Mm -hmm. And First Lady was like, you know, I want you to know that I'm still here for you. Just like I said in the day with Lady May. I am still here for your concerns and whatever's concerning you concerns me. And the lady was like, well, the reason that I came to the church today is because me and Grace have a meeting to meet with my daughter and I think her husband Fred the next day. And I wanted, I just stopped by so that we could touch and agree 
for the meeting on tomorrow, but she's not here. And I have a good mind to talk to the deacons about it because she didn't let me know that she wasn't going to be here today. First of all, you know, mm -hmm. let me say this to you, Miss Misty. Uh huh. Get him! You don't own her. Get him! Now, <laughs> in hindsight being 2020, she did miss y'all meet, but you ain't know that. You That's didn't right. have a meeting with her that day. Nope, now you weren't on the books. So you mad with her because you showed up, but she... She, she not there. Selfish? Some of it. Yeah. But that's church folk. Yeah, that's church, yeah. Uh -huh. They show up whenever they feel like showing up mm -hmm. and want you to be ready and available just because you are a servant of the Lord. Mm -hmm. As if you don't have a life, you don't have children, you don't have your, you don't have groceries to buy, yep. house to take care of, clothes to fold. Yeah. You just supposed to be just How ready? you ain't know that Gigi was at a GYN appointment? Exactly. And she just ain't or, want y'all to know what Or taking is. care of her door. Huh? And you just showed up and you mad because she wasn't available. Talking about something, now you gonna go tell the deacons. These be the same people that don't want the pastor to get no raise. Mm -hmm. They don't want him to have an adversary day. Yep. They don't want them that you better not drive a nice car because you don't stole all the church's money. Yep. But yeah, I'm like Jane said. Let me get off my soapbox, so and I'm back. <laughs> I said, Misty, if you don't see your French roll and wear up, what's down? That's why a lot of pastors are suffering today, man. They don't know what to do. They don't. They don't. They don't. Yeah, they got people, you know, have these demands on them. Yeah, they don't know what to do. They don't. 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 They yeah, after years of service. And don't let don't let them do nothing now. So, she told me, First Lady May, Grace's services are needed for tomorrow. I've worked it out and Phil is going to go to the meeting with us because the daughter has relapsed. And she was like, oh, okay. And so First Lady May is still on her. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to smooth this over. The lady told her, I'm going to go ahead and stop you before you embarrass both of us. I said, well, what this right, well, What you know? What's going on? She said, let me tell you something. When we voted for Harmony and Hope Hustle headquarters to come in and take over Calvary, it wasn't because we wanted Bishop out. It was you that we wanted out. I said, oh, shoot. Ooh. Say say that again. Say it again for the people that sat all the way in the back that came church late. What'd you say? Yeah, she, she slapped the skin out of her she <laughs> said, with those words. She said, none of us believe for a shot of a doubt that you didn't know what was going on with Mac and what he was doing to them girls, what he was doing with them girls. And ain't no way in the world we believe that you didn't know that he was paying all of those people off with the scholarship money. It's no way that we believe that. So it's not Bishop we wanted to be gone. It was you. Hmm. I said, well, I'd be a hot diggity dog. Now, I don't know if I halfway um, agree with all that, because Bishop did his share skit, too. Mm -hmm. And his is all forgiven. But y'all know how it is. I told y'all once before. Yep. They will keep a bishop and keep a pastor that do slept with everybody in the church. Don't mm -hmm. did everything. But let that first lady. Mm -hmm. you need to let her sneeze wrong. <laughs> we don't want her no more. So the whole time that first lady is trying to fight for this church that she thinks she is next in line for, once they kick um hustle and hope out, I said hustle and hope, said hustle and hustle. Head <laughs> they don't want her there. They don't want her there at all. I said, oh. So she later on had to come back and tell Bishop, <laughs> Bishop that that dream that I had, it won't for you. That was for, for me. me. <laughs> I said, okay, that took you down a pain or two, didn't it? And he's and she's telling him like, <sighs> people think that I knew, I didn't know, I didn't know. Or maybe and, I did know. Or maybe I didn't. You did and know I, because that's the reason that Grace left, right? I think so. Oh, I think or I think Grace left when she found out that. That Mac was raping her, but I don't know about all the paying off, all that stuff. No, I don't think anybody knew about that. But the fact that <clears throat> he was messing around with your daughter, wasn't that the divide that happened between her and Gigi and the family? Because Gigi was the sound, she sounded the alarm and then she left. 
when nobody wanted to believe her. That's right, because she did. Back, but yeah, that's right. That's and she right. didn't come back until that's Faith right. died. But I think uh, uh, Mac was denying it, and so she kind of took Mac's side. But like we said, you, you knew. knew. You knew it. at least it was brought to your attention. Yeah. And you did nothing about it. You did. And that's what she said. Maybe I knew, but I didn't know. Oh, I didn't want to believe that I knew. Yeah, say that. Yeah. But it, everybody in the church knew that at least you knew that something was going on. Somebody, somebody blew the whistle. Yeah. Now, that's the reason for you not to serve in the ministry? No. No. Because that wasn't you. <laughs> but at the same time, it does speak to the fact that you're good for turning a blind eye to stuff that's evident. And that's what a whole lot of church folk do. I mean, they do it to yeah. make it right. Yeah, yeah they do. But they, they become selective in what yeah. they turn a blind yeah. eye to. Yeah. All right, so let's get on with Zora the Weed Explorer. <laughs> mm. Man, man, man. She showed up at the church looking cute as ever. I said, go ahead, Zora. She came up with her new little style. Remind me of... um. Lisa um, Bonet. I said, okay. Her auntie met her in the hallway and said, what the hell going on here? She said, uh, Dante. Uh, daddy is trying to hide him from me. <laughs> and she said, he got to meet with my daddy, so he going to have to see me too. She's sitting up in her daddy's office now. Her daddy is at the house. He late as ever. Mm -hmm. Dante shows up, and he was like, who are you? What you do? She said, no, nah, I ain't do nothing. I'm just uh, the, um, his um, daughter. He said, well, come on in here, Z. Give me a hug. But Dante brought his little girlfriend with him. What's mm -hmm. her name? Lord have mercy. I wrote it down. What her name was? Um, um, dang. I wrote down with and mm -hmm. I can't even read where it's at. His girlfriend. Nikki. Yeah. <laughs> so Nikki comes in, and she's giving Zora the eye, like, I see you, boo, and I see what you fitting to do. I said, oh. I thought the same thing until it started progressing. Me too. Yeah, man. <laughs> so then he asked, you know, do y'all have like a coffee shop here where I can get some coffee? You know, I would love a lavender. What is it called? A lavender cappuccino or a latte or something like that? Yeah, I ain't never heard of that. Uh -uh, I want to. Um, <laughs> so they ended up having coffee together, waiting for Jacob to show up. Jacob finally shows up and he goes and he takes Dante into a meeting room. That leaves Nikki and Zor by themselves. So Nikki starts grilling Zor. So, you live with your parents? She's like, kind of, but I just, I live on a cabin on my grandparents' estate. She was like, a estate? Well, we, we need to go, we see go over there. I was like, don't do it. What the hell is this all about? Don't go. I said, is this about to be a Project X situation? Like, she just gonna start throwing <laughs> parties at the cabin? What's happening? So, next thing we know, Zora got out the rat tail comb. She laying down the girl's edges and baby hairs, and the girl was like, "Girl, you did that. You yeah, were good you at everything." Boss. I said, "No, she she ain't slaying them edges. I was looking at them, but <laughs> she laid them down. But they ain't slaying." And she was like, "Girl, you you everything. You a hustler. You can you can teach some classes. You can do this. You can do the highlight, and then you can teach me how to do a twist out that last the week. Girl, you everything." And I was like. And Zora was like, you know, it's so good to get a compliment. You know, I just got out of this, out of this relationship. You know, it ended all wrong. And Nikki was like, well, I hope you left him in the dust. And I hope he's asthmatic, too. Uh -huh. I said, where is this going? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So she was like, you know what? Uh, but are you good now? I know you said you don't have no man no more, but are you, are you good? Because I want you to be good. Because I want you to be good. I Sorry. said, and she's like this the whole time. It's like, wait. And then, then she went to, and Dante came. walking in the door. I said, we about to. Yeah. Ooh. But Zora, like, she was there for it. She, she was there for it. She was like, huh. Zora pull a panties to the <laughs> side. Yeah, cause Nikki, Nikki has some plans for you. And it ain't over. Uh, she what, coming back. What your grandparents gonna say? Cause they already know they put care of my church. Yep. They 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 hid Carlton for a long time. Yep. And now it's but but you but you know family is very different. Now they'll be all understanding about yeah. it. You know what? She just trying to find herself. That's what they gonna say. Uh huh. We just she we just young. we just gonna touch and agree, and we just gonna it's pray for her. Yep, we gonna <laughs> pray for her that the Lord show her the way that she ain't that way. 
Man, it's gonna be something going on, boy, when they mm -hmm. find out the Zora and Miss Nikki about to get down. So I, I wonder, I wonder they're gonna circle back around to that, or they're gonna leave that for next season. I don't know. And then Dante was like, "Well, let me go ahead and swoop my girl out. We'll catch up with you some other time. Do you smoke loud? You know, I, I get some. I, I won't. You know, I ain't gonna tell your pops. Don't tell your pops. I said, you, yeah, she like loud." But she's over the weirdest floor. But I'm kind of scared with Jacob working with with um with him, because he's already quote unquote calling him the holy man. So in other words, he thinking Jacob got it all together. Yeah. So I'm like, what is he gonna what you know? How is he gonna perceive Jacob once he find out that Jacob is a regular dude just like him with a title? Yeah, and that don't made his share of mistakes. Gonna mm -hmm. still make mistakes. So, got issues. So that's why I'm hoping that in these sessions that he's with him, that Jacob is being like very transparent, be like, you know, bruh, I know I'm a pastor, but hey, I done did this, I done did that. I'm struggling with this, I'm struggling with that. But the good thing is, we can help each other. Uh, I do have some wisdom that I can provide to help you, but I don't want you to think that I'm better than you. Because I got this position. Right. And you start messing up when you start making people think you perfect. Because, yeah, once he slip up. You ain't scared. Yeah, you ain't scared. All church people they ain't scared. Yep. Y'all hypocrites. Mm-hmm. That's say I walk this walk just like you do. That's right. We yeah, we all trying to make it in. Uh-huh. And I'm gonna make some slip ups and you gonna make some slip ups. Mine's mm -hmm. just more visible because you got all eyes on so me. Like the Bible said, ain't none righteous, no not one. So May. Because May done went through all this turmoil and Miss um, Miss Misty done ripped her a new one. She all in her feels. It's time for um, everybody to stop what you're doing. I'm about to ruin the image and style that you used to. Um, I look funny. <laughs> you need to get your tail home right now. I need you home and you can't tell me no. I said, that's a grown ass woman. Well, she kind of live in your household. But she still do what she want. Kind of. Yeah. Kind of. Um, she talked about some field or came in here. He about to take my whole church from me. First of all, didn't you just hear Mr. Say that I don't want you? Yeah. But you want your daughter to fly in to save a church that they don't even want you at. How does that work, First Lady May? Yeah. Okay, whatever. <laughs> but this is what I do have to say about this whole thing that's going on with Gigi. And I'm going to bring it around to real life scenarios that's going on right now. Mm -hmm. Because for the last few years, I mean, it's been going on for forever. But these last few years in ministry, I have never heard of so many pastors committing suicide mm -hmm. at a rate like this in it's all high. of my life. It's high. Now, let's break this thing down to related to Gigi. Gigi's daughter just ran out on her last episode. Obviously, something is terribly wrong for mm -hmm. that girl to march out of there, call her daddy to take her to college. When mm -hmm. everybody in the household knows how close they are and that the plan was for Gigi to go out there where, then Gigi just ends up taking a flight and going somewhere. No one has checked on Gigi. Nope. No one has inquired about where she is, nope. why she's alone, nothing. Only thing they care about is why she's not here in position to do her job. That's all they care about. And such is pastors today. That's right. Nobody cares about what they're going through. Mm -hmm. Nobody cares when they have slipped away and done what they needed mm -hmm. to do. As long as when I call you, you better pick your skit up and come. Yep. And that's where they hit these dark places because they only feel as good as their last blessing to you and other people. Yeah. And I was sitting there, I was like, this whole time, nobody has contacted Gigi to figure out why did you just take a flight in the middle of the night and go somewhere? Yeah. That's not even her style. Yeah. And then and then when um Lady May called her, giving her attitude, what you doing out there? Yeah. It's like, are you and just ask her if she all right. Yeah, be compassionate. I mean, I mean look at the countless, y'all probably seen it on the news, or, or if you in the church or in them countless pastors that sent their families to church mm -hmm. and say, I'm coming. Only to find out they put a gun to their head and blew their brains out while their family was at church. Some of them have done it in their freaking office. Mm -hmm. Some of them have done it in the church parking lot. Yeah, look up the statistics. If the statistics is very high on the suicide rate of pastors and 
We have to fix it. We have to fix it. We have to stop putting these unrealistic Listed. expectations on human beings. That's right. That are living and breathing just like us. Mm -hmm. She had a whole situation going on. And of course, she's not able to really tell it. But yeah. no one's also, no one's checking on her either. Yep. It, it was just crazy to me. Yes. And just put and just put it into perspective to, to kind of help you wrap your head around it. Just think about how busy your life is and that how you hardly have time for anything. That's the pastor. Plus having to preach, teach Bible study, have counseling sessions, have meetings with the deacons, ushers. All that stuff, and that don't include meet with people in his city, you know, because he's trying to bring people together. It's a whole lot. And then, like you said, get to his anniversary and you want to give him $2. Hmm. And a chicken dinner. Yeah. Sad. And then don't let him get a job because the church ain't paying him enough money for his life. Yep. And then he really can't be there for your grandma when her toe almost falls off. Yep. And then you have a oh. funeral. You got to take off work to do the funeral. And then you don't want to pay him for that. Yeah, that's, that's it's a lot. lot of people don't don't won't make the consideration. So pastors, boom, blow their head off. Because they can't do it. Or they be heavy on drugs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that demand was put on Gigi. You need to come here. Mm -hmm. And she knew how heavy that was. Now... What we say earlier, she promised AJ yep. that she was not going, going to nowhere. leave him until she found a place for him to go. So she meets up with AJ and he's excited. He's signing himself out. And I mean, you could tell he got a whole new glow about himself because she's penetrated a part of him that now he kind of trusts her a little bit because so far she's been coming through. Yeah. And he's like, I found a place. The person is out of town, but we can go and we can get some sheets. We can oh, get an air mattress. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and, and I was like, man. I'm like, don't do it, Gigi. Just, and she was just like, stay. can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? And I was like, like please uh, don't do that to him. Man. She was like, I got to fly out. He was like. You know what? Okay. It's, it's cool. It's cool. It's go. cool. But just don't come back. Don't come back. I'm I sorry said. I called you. I'm sorry that I was born. I'm just sorry. That's, I'm sorry that you ever had me. That's real. I said, God dang it. That's right. GG. Dang. And there's some pastors dealing with that as of tonight, right now, that's in that same predicament. That the they church have to, or their family. The church or their family. Yeah, that's a sad thing. And probably some of them probably watching right now. Whew. And I know some of them will. will We'll probably criticize that 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 message. Well, well, if those pastors, the the you know, if they really was called to ministry, they wouldn't have did that. They both had the anointing. Nah. You don't walk nah. in the anointing twenty four seven. Nah, you just you, you try, a human. Yeah, you just trying to keep up a facade for your church, and it ain't working. Nope. So you you yeah. act like you strong in public, but you weak in private. And real people see through it. Yeah. So, yeah. So, she ends up going home. And you can tell she just looks defeated. Like, yeah, like she knew that she had made... When she disappointed him, she knew she had mistake. made a mistake. So, she gets home and that family is in the family room because Lady Maiden went through some film and they yeah. found some old pictures of Faith and all of this. And they're all sitting together and they bring out the projector and there's a picture of Faith. And First Lady Maiden was like... I need you just to leave that picture up, Jacob. Just leave that picture up. It feels so good for all of us to be together again. I was like, darn, man. That's, wow. That's, that's pretty heavy. Yeah. So next thing we know, we see Faith. I mean, not Faith, Lord. Gigi. Gigi. And Gigi goes upstairs. And she calls to the center. And that guy answers the phone. He is so not. Do he Hello? get paid? Hello? He, is he getting paid or is he a volunteer? I he's, think he's a volunteer. Because he's so nauseous. Hello? Hello? Hold on. Hold on. Gets AJ on the phone. AJ was like, what do you want? And she said, I want you to come home. Sly. Whoa. I said, I wasn't ready for that. Whoa. Are you ready for that? Yeah. First of all, I, I, I'm feeling where you're going with this, Gigi, but she still don't know this moment. 
Yeah. I, but she's trying to make it right. She, she trying to make it right. She's trying to make it right. But I know, but I know Lady May is gonna give her the business. And she need not to give her the business because she still hides her goddamn dead. And can 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 he come in that house though? On that estate when nobody knows him. Well, for safety reasons, I would say no, let's get him his own place. That's what I'm thinking she's gonna do. I think she's gonna bring him there and probably put him up somewhere else. But can he even go across state line? We gotta figure all this out here felon, right? Well, it look like he out now, so he can go where he wants. No, uh, he's still out in the, where he was released at. So I don't, I don't know. We, we got to get his probation on, switched over and all this yeah. stuff. We need to get some clearances here. But, but God darn, Ava and Oprah, y'all hit it on the head tonight with that, man. Man, y'all hit me y'all, in my feelings. Yeah, y'all hit, yeah. When you start dealing with stuff that's real, that's what I'm talking about. That's real. Yeah, that's real. So it is about to be some smoking and shit. So make sure y'all on Sunday, come this coming Sunday, man, y'all show y'all pastor some love. And just ask them. I just want to, or just say, oh, you okay? And I yeah, just, just want to let you know, know, I appreciate you. Yeah, exactly. And that go a long way. Yep. Yeah. And don't call them from the bull skit. Yeah. <laughs> Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla. Holla.